The UAP task force formally created by Congress in 2020 was given a mere six months to put together an overview of a decades-old mystery, a daunting task, especially since only two staff members working part-time were assigned to write the report. Here's what we've learned. First, there are two reports. One is a longer, classified version written for Congress, and a second, much shorter version to be released to the public. Second, here's what will not be in either report. No statement that extraterrestrials are among us. Oh my gosh, dude. No mention of the Roswell crash or spaceships at Area 51. No analysis of unusual debris or alien bodies. Third, instead, both reports focus on startling but well-documented incidents in which military assets encountered genuinely unknown craft that seemingly demonstrate technology beyond anything that exists in the U.S. arsenal. Oh, splash. Splash. Starting with the 2004 Nimitz encounter with what's been dubbed the Tic Tac. The first comprehensive analysis of that incident was completed in 2009, a document we first made public three years ago. The Tic Tac video is known all over the world, but the public has never seen sensor data recorded back then by the Nimitz Carrier Group. Group. The U.S. Navy, which has the classified sensor data, still considers the Tic Tac to be a genuine UFO, an unknown. The same is true for the 2015 encounter with a, quote, fleet of unknown objects, one of which was nicknamed the Gimbal. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. There are at least 120 other puzzling incidents examined by the UAP task force. Many of those include photos and videos. Among them are photos taken off the East Coast and bizarre videos recorded by the Navy off the West Coast. The report will leave open the possibility that some of these craft could be foreign-made drones, though there are serious doubts that China or Russia have made such a technological leap. If the objects are not ours, as the report suggests, and weren't made by adversary nations, whose are they? The report does not have an answer to that lingering question. George Knapp reporting for Mystery Wire.